Hello everybody, next part of this tutorial of Prism Live Studio. I've been using the Prism Live Studio for quite a few months. I'm not going back to OBS because this software is amazing. Um, it has some bugs, but uh, for I can ignore the bugs because I know it will be fixed. At the moment, it is 100 times better than OBS because I'm getting a lot of features in one place that doesn't kill my resources on the outside. And it's very intuitive, easy to use. So I really recommend that you guys go and use Prism Live Studio. All right, so let's go into talk how to add web sources, web, yeah, web sources to your, bleh, this, if you want to use this. So let's, let's go there. First of all, you're going to add a source. We got our scene, we chose our scene. We're gonna add a source. We're going to go to web source. Then we're gonna add that web source, right. For, before we continue, you're going to change the resolution to 920 to, Oh, you guys can see it. Right. So, this ugly thing. Okay, hold on. Right, so let's go to, before you continue, you're going to say 920 by 1080. Okay, cool. Got that. You're going to set this refresh browser when it comes live because that one. So, you choose these two options, never this one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right now, it is going to make this weird. This, so just ignore it for a second, for a minute. I'm just going to drag it, make it small. Um, when you do run your web source, please run it in full screen. So you're going to drag it over to this way. But just for now, for the for, for tutorial sake, we're going to keep it that in the corner. Okay. Right. So I'm going to open stream elements. I want to add a stream element overlay. Let's say I want to add this one. So first of all, I need to get stream elements, the overlay URL. I got it here because I already preset. I'll do a tutorial video how to create your own custom overlays in stream elements. It's really easy to do. It's free. So you guys don't need to pay for anything. All right, cool. So <coughs> that's cool news. news. So we're going to use our web source. Double click on that. We're going to drag this in and we're going to copy that URL into that. Bam. And now that thing disappeared. Don't worry, princess, because it's there. It's already there. Right now, we are two. This thing is too big, and I'm away. I'm gone. So what I'm gonna do is right. I'm gonna. As you see, I'm got a sources here. I'm just going to add, move the web source below to the camera and to the monitor. I'm gonna and um, basically take the monitor and move it to fit into that little thing. I'm gonna drag myself a little bit smaller. Yes, that is a World of Warcraft Alliance background. I'm not an Alliance, but it was just something I was playing around with to show you guys how to use it. So obviously with your stream, if you if you design your stuff on elements and you integrate your, your notifications into stream elements, this will pop up. So all your alerts and so on will pop up through only this web source, even playing a sound. Let's see, oh, yeah, you see there, there's the sounds that this will happen. Okay, but I'm using currently um, Streamlabs. So how do you use Streamlab alerts? How do you add Streamlab alerts? First of all, you're going to go to Streamlabs, Streamlabs, Woo. right? You're gonna go to your login, login wherever you need to be. Uh, mine is already pre-added, so you can't see my password. Ha! You can't see my password. Then you're going to go to alerts. There is a, a widget URL for your alerts. All right, so we're going to copy the widget for the URL. And then you're going to go here, add another web source. Bam, wham. Thank you, ma'am. You're going to name it whatever you want to. You're going to paste that in. Remember what I said? It's nice. Okay, so just remove that, right? You're going to paste that in here, the URL. You're going to say 920 by 1080. You're going to use this refresh and say, okay. Okay, now what? Now it's gone. Just add it here. Don't stress, princess. Now you're going to go here. You're going to say test, right? When you're going to test it now, you will see the notification pop up. Let's see. Test to follow. Yes, it works. Whiskey Ranch just followed. Okay. And most probably you heard the noise in the recording. So I didn't blast my ears. But say you want to hear the noise. You want to monitor it. Okay. Let's just add that. 
Gonna test. Now I can hear it in here. And it made it obviously on your side it sound terrible because it made a feedback like a looping thing because I was monitoring. Okay, so but that is how to add web sources. You can add capamons. Um uh, what the fuck is a capamon? Very easy. Go to Capamon. Something very cool. We go to Capamon. It's a pet on stream. Okay, we're gonna sign in with Twitch. It's just, just stuff. It is cool stuff. Okay, cool. Never mind. Um, then you have your for Twitch streamers, your URL. You're going again. Copy your, your URL, right? That's very cool. You're going to go and add again another web source. Web source. Again, same story. Paste it in here. 920 by 1080 cool right then you're gonna say refresh one come live okay right kappamon shoot pop up there we go there's my kappamon and it's going to chat with your streamers of with your viewers this thing and you can make command to make a jump and weird shit whatever you want to so that's adding web sources to prism live studio if you guys, oh, last thing. All right. I have a tutorial on my website on gaming, over game, game over gaming how to use a, a relay server to Twitch because you're streaming from South Africa and this will help you to actually capture footage and set it at the highest bandwidth possible without lag. Now you can add it to Prism as well. How to do that is basically add channel. You're going to hear custom URL. You're going to set here to user input. You're going to name it whatever you need to do. You're going to add your Twitch stream key. You're going to name your stream name, which is going to be Twitch. No, no, sorry. Uh, if I remember correctly, this would be the, the server name that you're streaming to. So I use cool ideas. There is a video on my you on my um website so on gameovergaming.co.za just go to the content creator section there's a video there to show you a bunch of tutorials you're going to copy and paste the url for the um relay server here and you don't need to fill this in you're just going to say your, your twitch key your url server key and then just name it whatever you want to you're going to say save and then basically it's going to pop up yeah like you will see that's how it's supposed to be looking at crisp cool ideas that's a server name twitch your id is whiskey and obviously i'm not going to show you my stream key but this is this is exactly how it's supposed to look like you can actually uh, type that back this twitch um server so if you're streaming from south africa and you want to actually get your full bandwidth and so on yeah so, and if you want to do multiple platforms, add channels, and you can add all these and extras or private servers to your channel and multiple stream. So this is a tutorial video of how to set up Prism um, so web sources. See you guys on the next video. If you guys did like this tutorial, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Please support me on The Whiskey Ranch on Twitch as well. Go follow my social links. It, you will find it on the the twitch page and the about section it's my link tree so go and see me on all my social media if you want to see when i'm going live and so on please go and check me out and i'll see you guys on the next video if you did like it leave some comments below so i can do a follow-up video adios amigos